hey, hello, how are you doing today? Oh, I hope you're okay. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman go mad. So be wise and keep on leaving the signs in my body. I won't deny it, but my hips don't lie. I'm starting to feel it now. Let's go real slow. Can't you see, baby? This is perfecto. <laughs> so, today I want to talk about finding your own voice. It's one of the biggest things that people ask me about and wonder about and try to get, but it's such a complex and intimate subject because nobody really knows what your voice is except for you. One of the main misconceptions of singing is that singing is any different from speaking because it's not. Elf was right when he said singing is just like talking, it's just louder and longer and you move your voice up and down. I'm singing, I'm in a store and I'm singing, I'm in a store and I'm singing. Simple. And so think about this, anything that you can speak, you can sing. So if you can talk really high or you can talk really low, then you can sing those notes. So confidence is key. And don't judge your voice. Your voice is unique and awesome and it's not gonna sound exactly like anybody at all. So you gotta become comfortable with your voice and just let it be what it is. Obviously, it's okay to take from your favorite artists and learn from them and take their styles even if you want but you don't want to try to sing like them forever. It's eventually going to get uncomfortable and it'll actually strain your chords to try to manipulate your voice all the time to sound like somebody else. So let's take a song that you're working on or something that you really want to sing in your voice and just speak it. So for example, let's do Someone Like You by Adele. So she sings it kind of like, I heard that you're settled down at you. Right? Obviously not my voice. I don't sound like that at all. So let's take that first verse. I heard that you're settled down, that you found a girl and you're married now. So now we want to sing it, but make it feel the same way. So we're not manipulating our voice at all. We're literally just elongating our words. So let's go. I heard that you're settled down, that you found a girl and you're Married now. See? So that's my voice, right? Sounds very similar to my talking voice because singing and speaking are not two different things. They're the same thing. It's just your chords vibrating. You're just kind of talking longer. Don't ever, 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 ever think that speaking and singing are separate things. They're the same. So take your favorite song, take whatever you're working on and just speak through it. And if it's high, it doesn't have to sound good when you speak it, right? It can sound nasty, it can sound weird. So let's do the chorus. We'll just say, never mind, I'll find someone like you. Doesn't sound good, right? Never mind, I'll find someone like you. But whenever I sing it, it sounds okay. And I'm confident that I can hit those notes because I just spoke them and it feels the same as speaking. And so it's my voice, it's confident, it's controlled. It's just like talking, just longer. Finding your voice is such a hard thing and it's okay if you feel like you're still kind of manipulating to sound like someone else. I personally still try to sound a little bit like Brittany from the Alabama Shakes because I think her voice is awesome. So I do manipulate my voice a little bit, but it's purposeful and I know what my voice is and I know that it's comfortable and that it's controlled. So work on that. Speak through your songs before you sing them. Speak through them all the time. It's a great practice to learning how to sing correctly, learning how to control your voice, and learning how to find your own voice. Good luck on your journey finding your own voice. Please comment any questions you might have below. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Hello.